Yeah, we've got the completed uh, Soft Rock Ensemble 2 receiver up here in the shack. I don't have a decent antenna feed down in the basement lab, so we brought it up here. Uh, there's uh, four connections that are made. Uh, this is the USB connection that goes off to the computer. Uh, that controls, uh, talks to the microcontroller, which uh, programs the SI570 synthesizer, and also controls the switches that select which of the four bandpass filters are used at the front end of the receiver. Uh, the 570 creates a local oscillator, which is uh, fed to the uh, quadrature synchronous detector block, uh, so that um, the output of that block we get uh, essentially I and Q that are low pass filtered and amplified through some op amps on the back out through the audio connection which goes into the audio in on the laptop. Uh, this is DC power for the receiver and this is the antenna connection. So let's uh, go take a listen to see what we can hear. Uh, I've got the receiver tuned to uh, uh, 75 meters. The center here is at um, 3.727 megahertz and uh, the area that I'm listening to here because I'm looking at about a 50 kilohertz uh, frequency range here and uh, so the, the signal that I'm tuned to here is sitting at 3.740 and uh, if we turn the volume up we can listen to them and then with the software here we can adjust the receiver uh, bandpass filter and we want to tune over to this station over here you hear that one there so that's what's nice about some of these soft software defined radios you can listen to a relatively wide band uh, if you've got a better sound card with a higher sample rate we can look at a, even a wider band here but uh, I've only got a 48 kilo, kilohertz sample rate in this sound card here but uh, anyway, that was a fun build, uh, putting this uh, SDR together. It was sure, sure a lot of uh, toroids to wind and got pretty good at it uh, after winding several of them. And, um, but uh, so a little bit of uh, you know, surface mount work on the back side of the board. Uh, and, uh, and then all the through hole work is done on the top and winding your own toroids. So it was a fun project and I, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, kind of following along. Thanks again for watching.